Sega Zone might actually be one of the coolest Pokemon of this generation. You know, a Fury Steel type, rarely used. I mean, the only one we got is basically Mobile, if I can think of the top of my head. And it is, I shouldn't say lacklustering, but without this Mega Evolution, it really isn't nothing special. 7 this revised to get it without, of course, a Synergy move, Megaton Hammer, 160 base power Steel move that, of course, can't be repeated, but still hurts really badly. Yeah, we got a recipe for a very unique Pokemon here. Now the typing in itself doesn't necessarily have a lot of issues, it takes double the damage from ground and fire, takes neutral to fighting ghost, steel, water and electric, resistances however, quite a few of them, normal fire, rock, grass, psychic, ice, dark and fairy are one times resisted and four times resisted of bug types, so you turn, eat your heart out, and of course completely immune to poison and dragon, which is quite the feat. Unfortunately with this type in, it isn't the best offensively unless your Filibus allows it to be, as Steel types and other Fire types will definitely come in on this and resist its main stabs. Tigaton's stats however is uh, both really great and maybe not so great. Um, it's fairly balanced I would say with a good mixed bulk, 85 in HP, 77 and 105 in defense and special defense respectively. And its speed for being a tanky mon is quite speedy. It is really speedy, even 94 speed that's going to allow it to really deal with a lot of threats. Uh, very few offensive mods barely break the 90s, and uh, being able to deal with wall breakers such as, let's say, Heracross at 85, yeah. It's, it has a unique scenario, unfortunately it's attack stat leaves a lot to be desired, 75 and it's attack and 17 a special attack. It is clear that while it's speeding and soak a hit, it might actually not KO every time, it doesn't necessarily seem to hold that candle, however, if Swellow has taught me anything and Boom Burst it is that a very low attack doesn't necessarily mean anything if the base power of the move is strong enough, and here is where the Megaton Hammer comes in. Even if fire types, like I said, and steel types are resistant this move, a choice banded Tinkaton will still do around 75% to defensive Skarmory. And let's say a Bliss is switching to this, which it definitely shouldn't be, Megaton Hammer will almost do 85% to defensive Blissey. So, with that in mind, yeah, it might be weak, but its main move definitely breaks apart team, even if it is resisted. And it also has abilities that are almost good, it depends on, and we're gonna cover that later in this video, but it gets Mold Breaker, Own Tempo and Pickpocket, and I don't believe Own Tempo, with of course negating Intimidates and Confusion will be all that important, and I think Pickpocket is somewhat in situational for this type of Pokemon, Mold Breaker however might be usable, but maybe not for its offensive capabilities, but more what it learns naturally, so with that said, let's cover its move pool. When it comes to its level up moves, it isn't as diverse as one would desire, it does get Gigaton Hammer though, which will be his main offensive stat I think, uh, there is really no reason not to use that, to get it with Play Rough as its main fairy stab, it also gets great filler move in Scare Smack and Knock Off, I believe Knock Off is probably the strongest filler we got on this, um, and it got a special move pool with you know the Flash Cannon and the Draining Kiss, but overall uh, I'll say none of this deals with his main issues of resistances, but it gets decent filler moves and can capitalize with different roles depending on how you want to use it. When it comes to its egg moves, I am slightly disappointed. We get Faint, Quash, and Ice Hammer. I don't believe Ice Hammer does anything, sadly, for Take a Song, at least not for the main issues like I already mentioned. And while Ice Hammer is great for potential dragons, let's not beat around the bush. They, they, they are gonna be hit by player off. I guess Ice Hammer is great for potential offensive ground types that are maybe dealing with this well, but I, it bothers me that the mob with the hammer didn't get hammer arm, because on its TM list, it will not either get of close, close combat. However, however, that doesn't mean its TM list is bad, not bad at all. Remember what I said, its mold breaker utility might actually be quite interesting. First and foremost though, for its offensive moves, it gets Sword Stance, I think that's a big deal. Between Gigaton Hammer and Sword Stance, they could level up one another if you don't want to run a Bandit set, and I think that's quite right. Uh, it also gets access to Rock Slide, Stone Edge and Metal Claw in case you are really not liking Megaton Hammer, or Heavy Slam, which could be quite risky. Uh, it also gets Steel Beam in case you wanna... you don't. 
However, there are two things that I think is great for it. Either one of them is Brick Break. It is an unnecessary evil, but like I said, there are going to be scenarios here where Brick Break might be important for it. But more so, I think Bulldoze will be its most natural filler moves. You don't want to capitalize on knockoff as your main offensive move. Mainly because Bulldoze, no, it's no earthquake. It's definitely is no earthquake. I get that. However, it does deal with what I would say is uh, Tinker Song's biggest issues, and that is the fires and steel saps. I can't stress that enough. Being able to hurt them and even maybe lower their speed on a switch in to take them out is a phenomenal tool this guy has, and combine that with decent bulk, Tinker Song can definitely take a few hits and maybe even win the matchup out of its bulk alone, depending on the matchup. So that's something not to forget about. However, the coolest aspect about Tengatan, and something I think is going to be more capitalized on when you use this Pokemon, is the Mold Breaker combination with its supported move pool. All of a sudden, Magic Bouncer are no longer responsible to this guy. As uh, Tengatan can freely use Thunder Wave, it can use Skill Squab to disrupt them, it can, or probably my favorite one is it can anchor them and it can set up stealth rocks without having to worry and also due to Tinkerton's rather low uh, attack of 70 or 75 it could capitalize on foul play while it is not the prettiest decision I think Megaton Hammer due to its high base power alone will solve the worst and I think you very much run a set with foul play just to disrupt offensive checks and overall I think we have a very niche Pokemon here that could be I'll do a lot of things. It has issues, it's not perfect, but I definitely see the choice bandit set being incredible, even though you can't over repeat the move of the Gigaton Hammer. And I can see the defensive set and the disruptor set with Ancor and Stealth Frogs and whatnot, with Soul Stats and maybe even Megaton Hammer, or even worse, Encore and Protect just to disrupt Moss as a whole. I'm I am loving the idea of what this Pokemon can do, and I think it's gonna be able to do a lot of it with very few issues and I don't know, future looks bright for this Pokemon, it might not be the biggest mark, but what it does, I think it's gonna frustrate a lot of players, and I for one, can't wait to use it. So that said, all you think for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, bye.